I'm Aunt Defoe from Knoxville, Tennessee. Uh, the main thing I want to talk with you about today is about electronics. Electronics is something that I probably get asked about as much and as often as anything, any one topic anywhere I go. How to use your electronics to catch more bass. That's why we all have them. That's why you spend that kind of money for them. That's why we, you want to have them on your boat. And that's, that's the main reason to get them. I mean, there's no doubt about it. And there's really about five different things that I use on, on my graphs on a daily basis when I'm on the water to my advantage. And that's, I've, I've got them all broke down here. Side imaging, down imaging, 2D sonar, the 360 is probably the newest one, and then of course GPS. If you're on a lake you don't know, it's very good to have a track to follow your way back home with. This, with the yellow color bottom, you can really tell, you know, it, it's a hard bottom, but there's not really any, there's some rock right down in here. You can kind of see by that. But like this up here, it's hard, but there's not really anything on it. It's just, it's just good solid bottom. It's not anything soft at all there. But there was several fish, obviously, right here on this place. Like there's a couple there. There's three or four or five stacked here, kind of on top of, the, of each other. And whenever you're using that yellow color pattern, like that fish there having yellow in it, that one having a little bit of yellow, the more yellow they are, the more directly under the boat they are. You know, if they're, if like this here where it's pretty red, it was, I went nearly over top of it, but it was off to the side, just maybe a few feet. But those ones that have yellow in them, they were, I mean, right under the boat. You could throw a treble hook and ounce sink right there and about snag those because you went right over top of them. I mean, that's how, that's how close you were to them. But there were at least a, a, a dozen fish or so if you really counted each individual arch right here sitting on this point and uh, we caught some of them after that. It was good times. But now this picture here, like you can see, this is a pretty good one. These are two totally different depth finders and probably eight months apart. But you can see um, how defined these arches are. I mean, they're close together and they're, you know, they're stacked on there pretty good, but they're definitely each individual defined arch and, and pretty good size. Where this here, they're more just like little dots, okay? And I, I still, to this day, don't know exactly what these fish were. Because I, I, I carry an Aquaview camera with me a lot and I use it a lot in tournaments and pra mostly in practice, but on occasions in tournaments too, but it, that, that camera has helped me understand a, a lot of what I'm looking at with my depth finder. It was something that was, it, it's really, really helped me. I, I mean, I, I can't explain how much it has, but it's, I, I kick myself for not having it this day because I, I couldn't make whatever these are bite. And it, it still just really irks me more than anything. But you can tell that these are, you know, they're, they're pretty small fish. I, I guess them to be either a, a school of big shad, maybe crappie, or even small white bass um, is what I, the, the best assumption I can come up with as to what they, what they were. But there was obviously a lot of them there. They were really tightly schooled. And you can see how bass don't typically stack on top of each other that, that high. They, they may get, you know, a couple be real close to each other, but they're not going to be 10 deep, you know, stacked up like what these were. That's just not, not the way bass set up on structure. 75 feet is, is, is about is actually what the boat was sitting in, but it was right off the edge of a very steep bluff. But yeah, it's just a hair over 75 feet out here because that's where it's actually hitting the bottom. But yeah, it was, it was on a very, a very, very steep bluff. And you can see the shoreline right here. I mean, that's, that's the edge of the bank right there. This was a very, very steep bluff. A little bit of a lay down tree right here, a little bit of one right there. Um, but a very rocky point, very out, just a little outcropping point right here off the edge of that bluff. Um, and a few fish suspended out in 